Hey guys, um, today I'm disassembling the old battery pack out of my Nissan Leaf. Um, it was down to about 10 kilowatt hours, which only gives you about 40 miles of range on the freeway. And I'm taking these modules and turning them into stationary storage in my power wall. And I got a really good look at the, uh, the BMS, the battery management system that they used. Um, and I just thought it was cool that I'd, cool enough that I wanted to share uh, a look at it with you guys. So the way they have every battery in this pack connected is you can see it goes from the positive on this battery to the negative one here. And if you'll zoom that in a little bit. Okay. Um, and then it goes through this battery and from the negative there to the positive there and through that battery and that connects the negative to the positive and they basically just string these little each one of these batteries is two cells that's 3.7 volts and they just string them together and add them up until they get to the 400 volts necessary to run the big motors that drive these electric vehicles and it's the same way in every electric vehicle if you drive a chevy bolt a tesla a nissan leaf in every single one of them they just stack these little 3.7 volts on top of each other until they get to the 400 they need to run the car then it's kind of cool to see how Nissan strung all the little wires through here and they all feed back to uh, what certainly looks like your 96S BMS that sits on the side of the pack here and make sure that the voltage in all these cells stays the same as they charge and discharge. Um, I'll be talking a lot more about connecting batteries in parallel and series on my upcoming video, uh, The Fundamentals of Building Large Power Walls, and that should be out in a couple of days, so I'll see you guys then.